I want to bring in my first guest. She's got a great special on HBO Max called Horn Dog. Please welcome Rose Matafeo. Rose, thank you so much for, for being here and doing this. Thank you for this. having me. Thank you so much. Are you enjoying your uh, two cocktails? Yeah, I'm enjoying both my of mine at once. I've got my cocktail in a mug. <laughs> oh, look at that. Discreet. <laughs> Someone has struggled with alcoholism before. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> yeah, it's a mug. It wasn't a paper a bag before. Um, I it, it is 8 a.m. in New Zealand. Okay, great time for a ginger buck, they say. I, is it is it crazy? Is it like is it not okay to drink at 8 a.m.? I should be drinking. I, I think in quarantine rules, no, it's completely fine. At any moment, I, at any time. I I drank I drank a lot in lockdown. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> getting really close to the camera. I drank a lot. Yeah. I lived with my um, my nan. I locked down with my 70, 76 year old uh, grandmother. And um, we we got on it. We definitely got on it. We um, would make a new cocktail every night. We had some, we had a spritz night, learn how to make martinis. We got steamed actually. Yeah. It was great. This is great. This is what Good we energy. should all be doing. <laughs> it's a great energy. I mean, I think your nan should be hosting this. I'm talking myself out of a job here. We'll get her, get her in, get her a, a, a <laughs> whole bottle of whatever she wants in a giant coffee mug. <laughs> I was watching your special, and one thing that really stood out to me is how present you were with the crowd during that special. I feel like a lot of times people are recording their special and like, okay, I'm immortalizing my dream. Everything needs to be word perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and I can count at least 12 times where you stopped down and you addressed whatever was happening in that room. Is mm -hmm. that something that you had planned on before? Is that a product of the festival? It's just, it's uh, very rare yeah. to see that. That's just, that's, uh, yeah, I never really thought about that. That's, um, it's actually, I think it definitely is a product of the festival. Like before the shows in Edinburgh, oh, actually all of the shows, I play uh, ping pong. Um, like I play table tennis with the crowd before I'd start. And it's something I just started doing in Edinburgh. Like I did that for horn dog and then the year before i would go around and make labels for everyone on my label maker yeah uh, and meet the crowd sneakily i think it's a way of like reminding that crowd that i'm a human being <laughs> and they're about to see an hour from a real person that wants you to love them um but you know it, 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 and it breaks down some some type of barrier where it's like it does break down something where it's like this is a kind of um uh, an exchange rather than me just talking at you. And right. I hope that comes across in your show. Uh, well, it's, I find so much trouble in naming things. How'd you come up with horn dog? It's kind of a happy accident. It's um, yeah, it's really hard to name things. I named it because I just thought it was a really funny name and word. It was, and it, and it came, I think that, you know, when you come up with a name and then you kind of come up with the idea for the show. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that kind of happened. We're done. But it, it's so funny. Cause it's like, it was genuinely one of the, it was the year that I was like, oh, I'm just going to choose a stupid name. And that would just be funny to do like a silly name. Uh, and then that now has become the kind of title and I guess word and concept that has been incredibly linked to my career as a stand up. Um, I don't know. As a reminder that stand up is really stupid and silly and it can be, yeah. and it can be silly as, as well as, you know, meaningful, but that those two things are just not, they're not at the end of a uh, spectrum. It's like, it's all kind of intertwined. And so, you know, uh, a show called that um um luckily winning a, quite a an amazing award felt very funny <laughs> there's, there's like awards now that say horn dog on them on a, yeah, like, horn got, dog is I've, huge literally i've got it on, i've got it on this massive um statue and it's engraved it's it's rose Montefiore horn dog yeah uh, which is just, it looks like it's calling me a horn dog, which is not un completely untrue, but. No, um, no, yeah. so prestigious. Right, you want right. it for being the horniest. Well, that's what I did like yeah. about your special too, because I think a lot of the festival shows can be very heavy handed and there's this pressure to have a theme. There's always that cadence you can tell when someone's trying to <laughs> heavily handedly end the show. And it's not yeah. even a smart sentence, but what they do is they slow down the voice <laughs> to let you know that's all they wrote. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, I can't handle that. It might be my, my kind of me being from New Zealand and being so deeply self-deprecating that I could never take myself that seriously uh, to do that. I, I don't know if it's that or just, um, yeah, I, 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 the confidence it takes to believe that like what I'm saying is correct and yeah. important to, but I mean, like, but to be fair, I mean, I, I feel like, 
all stand up is that. So it's kind of, you know, ridiculous to kind of be like, I'm not like that, but you know, it's, it's, I yeah, like, it is a little bit of a cop out to just try to get those awards or trying to make it an award winning show of like you do yeah. this whole hour and then it's nothing just because you use that cadence that they use at M- NPR to end. I feel like you could say anything in that cadence and it would still yeah. sound, you could be like, milk, milk, lemonade. <laughs> Around the corner, fudge was made, made to black. And everyone's like, whoa, okay. Wow, that was huge. Let's put that whole sentence on an award. I think I'm, I'm, I'm just lucky because I, I've, I mean, I've seen so many, so many other comedian specials and kind of really tried to think about what would be the best um, to represent me. Which turns out it was a, an incredibly garish backdrop. Which I was like, I was watching it and I was like, "Geez, Rose." And then, and then part of me was like, "That's exactly you and your style yeah. of personality, which is garish and over the top." Um, so you know. Don't lie to yourself. The musical choices too. I feel like we would have been musical soulmates. Middle yeah. school, high school. Oh, we're talking Keen is in there. We got Keen. We're talking Fall, Fall Out, Fall Out Boy. Boy. Talking, oh my gosh. Are it's you a, still into that music? Trip. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, I've got like a, I've, I feel like I've got a guilty, not guilty, but a playlist of, you know, very much the Fall Out Boys, the Panic at the Discos. Yes. Even a bit of Escape from Fate. Mid, We've got mid-2000s the... emo rock where oh it's just in hindsight, it's so insane. that Because I remember connecting with that as a kid, but now it's just mm-hmm. so weird to realize like, oh, those guys were 30. Those guys were 30 and like incredibly, <laughs> like deeply misogynistic. It's so funny. Yeah. Like, like um, there's like that Metro station. Oh no, um, Curse of Curves. Who is that by? There's some like... Um, I've been listening to like the actual lyrics of these songs and it's just a bunch of like, as you say, legit 30 year old men talking about how uh, like wily women are <laughs> and being like, yeah. they'll get you. <laughs> They're not the good guys in these songs, you know? And it's just like, you get caught up in the insane, like we were both 16 and you felt so right. <laughs> We've been all day. Like, wait, 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 wait. You're not over this 16 year old girl. That's half your life ago. <laughs> Well, I I miss I miss so much that style of singing. No one has ever read Chiffy Lube. I want those back there. Great bags from life. Do you take debit it. cards? But don't you find that there, there is like always an affectation, like a vocal uh, style that becomes popular? Like I feel like there's that kind of indie female singer songwriter one that's very popular now as well, which is kind of like speaking like you've got like a plum in your mouth, like. Like, oh, the, the, king, like, it's like wide, like so. It's very. I do. Yeah. Why do you? Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's more like a wide kind of. I, I, and then the voice wide. is cracky, like, oh, I didn't even yeah. try. <laughs> Rose doing a show at 5 a.m. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, so the, not only do you have an HBO Max special, which is a huge accomplishment, but you also have an HBO Max series, which yes. is huge. like every comic's goal. Can you tell us a little bit about the series? No, it's still in the works. Yeah, no, it's still in the works. It, it's, um, it's, it's called Starstruck. It's a, um, uh, uh, HBO Max and BBC got together and we're going to make this show. Um, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to be making it soon. Um, a character I play has like a one night stand with a very famous person. And um, I can't, I can't lie. Writing it was very, writing the pilot did feel like a creepy fan fiction. Everyone keeps asking if it's based on true events. And I'm like, I w- I honestly wish. No, no, this is wish fulfillment. This is wish fulfillment. Is it a real celebrity that's that's in there, or is it like a placeholder celebrity? No, <laughs> well, no, we've got a we've got a very 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 talented actor, but um, I think um, I think it probably would have hit close to home for yeah. a, to like an actual big celeb. Also, I feel like sometimes celebs are kind of bad at playing versions of themselves where they have to be like aware of the the nature of their life and job a bit so you know it, it's it's good to step away from that and kind of yeah you know but it's based be on a that. real celebrity i can't yeah. wait to load this uh, it's based on, a real based on, a based real, on julia roberts the special is called horn dog on hbo max and then you have a show coming out with hbo max too this is all very exciting i hope to talk to you again soon lovely to talk to you thanks moses thank you rose this is our two drink minimum presented by hbo max clean yes Great to just spill this all over my computer. Oh my gosh!
All right. Cheers. Thanks, Rose. See you, Amos.